Hi everyone, this is Greta. This is Valerie. This is Zui. And this is Quinn. Today we will be learning about Riemann sums and how we can use them in the real world. In this project, we will be recording me walking and also creating a velocity time graph. From the velocity graph, we will be using Riemann sums to calculate my total displacement. As you can see, Zui is speeding up and slowing down when he's walking. This is the velocity time graph of Zui. Since we set the origin to where Zui starts, and he is walking to the left, the velocity is negative. When Zui is slowing down, the graph slope is positive, and when he speeds up, the graph slope is negative. Now, let's start to calculate the distance using left Riemann sum. For our Riemann sum, we'll have 14 equal subintervals of 0.5. This will be our base. Then, we'll be taking the height starting from 0 to 6.5 only taking the left coordinate of the rectangles. After these calculations, left Riemann sum tells us that Zui has walked 7.5 meters. Now, let's calculate the distance using right Riemann sum. For our right Riemann sums, we will still have 14 equal subintervals of 0.5 as our base, just like our left Riemann sum. The only difference is, is that now we will be taking the right coordinates of the rectangles. So for the height, we're using 0.527. After the calculations, we get 6.825 meters as the distance that Zui walked. Finally, we will now calculate the trapezoidal sums. The equation for a trapezoid is 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times height. Since we have 14 equal subintervals of 0 0.5, our height will be 0 0.5. Our bases will be the y value of the graph. After these calculations, we get 7.162 meters as the distance that I walked. Now that we have finished calculating all the Riemann sums, Let's compare it to the actual distance that Zui walked, which is 7.594 meters. That means that all the values that we've calculated are underestimates. As Cougars, we implemented ROAR in every aspect of our project. We respected our community by walking around and not running. We owned our actions by cleaning up after our project. We also acted with integrity when we were entrusted with Mr. Love's supplies, and we returned them in good conditions. Finally, we realized our potential by realizing that we can do more than just the project ideas listed to share our knowledge of calculus beyond the classroom. Thanks for watching, everyone, and remember... ROAR!